Before you see somebody roaming the street and you decide to help the person, to the extent of taking the person into your house, kindly understand the risks that you are taking. It is a very serious risk. So this morning, a lady called me and they said that the body of her mom was found dead some way and then they called him to come and take the body of their mom. In fact, their mom has been missing since May. And on this page, they called me and then they told me about it. They sent a write-up, they sent a picture of the mom. And then I posted on this platform since May. So actually, I thought since I didn't hear from them, I felt maybe they have seen the mom. Maybe they just forgot to get back to me because it happens a lot of times that people will reach out and then you post something, they find this thing and then maybe they just, because they are busy, they just forget to click and say, oh, Ganyene, this was sorted out. So this morning she called me and then she said that her mom is dead, that somebody called them from 18 and local government and then that she will come and carry the body of her mom. All right, so this is just how the gist is. The mom got missing one day. She said she was going to one of the relative house, something like that. And then since then, they never got to see the mom again. So when I posted here, yeah, people were like, they saw somebody that looked like this woman somewhere. So I actually felt maybe they were able to track down and get the mom. Now, these people, the mom was in New York before she got missing. So how the mom got to a tenant is what completely they cannot understand. So in a tenant, the family saw the woman rooming, you know, obviously they have empathy on her and then they decide to take her in. And for three weeks, this woman was with them. What I'm saying is three weeks ago or about four weeks now. So they saw the woman rooming, they decided to pick the woman in and then took care of her and tried to like, where are you from? The woman gave a description that was some way traceable. So what happened is that somebody, being one of the family members or somebody within the family or community, gave somebody, a young man, money in the family and said, take this woman to this place that she mentioned in Uyo. Let's see whether we'll be able to reach out to her family and reunite her with the family. So sadly, this guy carried the money and squandered it without doing what this man said. So of course, you know those rich people in the family, when they ask you to do something, you refuse to do they just answer up and say, I'm going to carry on a while. So obviously, I think the man just answered up and then that was it. So three weeks ago, they saw this woman and then just, yeah, about three weeks ago. I don't know. Can't really um, process that now. But the, the lady later died three weeks after in their custody. The lady died in their custody. So when the lady now died, they now searched her bag and then they saw a piece of paper that she had a phone number of one of her daughters. And they called the daughter, please, so we found your number in this person's bag. She had been with us, so she died and we are currently embalming her. Like the lady died, they kept the lady in that their house and they were embalming the woman. So now the children are very angry. So they reported the case to the police. Of course, the police knew about the missing woman. And they, you know, police now, they will tell you to, they bring money, keep on, we we'll do this, they keep on sending money. Nothing was found. And the funny part is that they concentrated their search within Uyo, whereas the woman has gone down to a tenant. So the daughter said. And now the daughters are very angry with this family. They are asking this family to come tell them what they did to the mom, how the mom got to them, how they took in the mom without reporting to the police and all of that. And then they also asked him, how were you people now able to check her back and see a phone number when she was with you for three weeks? None of you came to check her back. So I actually understand that part that, you know, when someone is there, you cannot just start searching the person or something like that. You know, these um, old people, sometimes they tend to forget things and sometimes they tend to behave in ways you may not really understand because of old age. So, as we speak, every member of that family, they are in the police station. They were arrested by the children of this woman. And one of the child of this woman, the son, is threatening to take this matter to court. And whether you like it or not, that's a murder case. So, before you see somebody roaming the street, even if it's a madman, Madman get personal, 
Now the day where madman go buy for your hand, where you go to say madman get person. Even all these street children. Now this is not this is not saying you shouldn't help people, right? This is not saying you shouldn't help people. But there are certain things you need to know before you take certain people into your home, start to take like get involved in certain people's life. You have to be careful of certain things. Get the police involved. Let the police know. I saw this person here. We're ready to do this. So I want to do this for this person. You know, because if it goes out, you are on your own. You are on a long journey. So for three weeks now, the whole members of that family, all of them have been picked up. They're in the police station. And if they're going to court, imagine all of them being remanded in the prison custody. So this is what I got today. And it reminds me of what happened yesterday when I was posting about that woman. Oh, they like, carry her to the hospital. Take her to the air. Do this. Why don't you people do this? Why in the process of carrying that woman to the hospital, if anything happens, that you could explain to her. Because obviously the family are looking for them or looking for the woman. And if it happens that now for your hand, something can happen to the woman, you could explain. So guys, please, why you have a good heart, why you want to help, why you want to reach out, why you want to go extra mile for people, please, please, be security conscious. Make a police entry first before you do. I've seen a lot of people take children in, so children just carry in, and then illegal adoption every way. Illegal adoption. Who gave you permission to carry someone's child and put in your house? Like you carried a grown-up woman, like in the case of this woman, grown-up woman, put in your house for three weeks. No police report, no effort has been made to reach out to the family. And the woman died in your hand. What will you explain? So guys, I don't know what is your opinion on this particular case, but I've told the daughter that they should temper justice with mercy. They were just trying to help the mom. Anything could happen. I, I don't really know, honestly. And you also know that the world is actually very wicked, so you cannot also trust people. But what do you think? The data will be in this comment section and will be reading. Please advise them. Because right now that girl is confused. It's confused. She's heartbroken. They buried her dad in 2021. And now the mom is gone. It's so sad. What do you guys think? What do you advise them to do? They want to take the case to court. What's your advice? They'll be listening. Thank you so much.